Is this thing on? Oh wait, I left the lens cap on. Good morning guys and welcome to another episode. I don't know why I say that, but yeah. I've got 20 videos to make before the end of 2019. I want to start 2020 knowing that I've got 100 videos in the bank. I've kind of made a video about that. So, yeah, I, I'm actually finding it hard to make these horizontal videos. Um, I've been playing around with a vertical video and I've been on Instagram and I just find that movie making that way is just so much quicker. I don't have to worry too much around what, about what's in the background. And so, yeah, I've been focused on that. Some of the challenges for me is, that I've had so far is some of the audio. So I'm hoping that by adding a shotgun mic onto a proper camera, I guess, I think I guess it's a proper camera, but let me show you. So, see, I've got a Canon uh, EOS, EOS, I don't know how you say it, but an EOS, oh, EOS R, which is the full frame mirrorless camera from Canon that I've seen a lot of people who make the type of content that I want to make use. Let's put that away. So, <sighs> I don't believe that the equipment makes you a better filmmaker, but it certainly makes you look like a more professional filmmaker. And I'm really interested in getting into content creation. I'm not sure that I want to make movies, but I'm very interested in short form movie making which is pretty much the content that you're seeing on your mobile phone. And so that means that a lot of the stuff that I do is vertical. It also means that it's short form in that it could be anything from a little 15 second story inside Instagram, or it could be a one minute video that sits in your timeline or it could be up to 10 minutes inside IGTV. Now of course I realize that a lot of people use YouTube and again I've made a movie about IGTV versus YouTube. I find that for brands there's a huge opportunity to be making mobile content when you consider that most of the population are using mobile phones it's definitely an advantage. So there's three major formats or three, three major resolutions that you need to cater for. The first is 16 by nine, which is your full length vertical Instagram story and IGTV, which is one, no, 1080 by 1920. Then the second is four by five, which is your Instagram post, which is basically uh, 1080 or X 1350. Then the last one is the little square. And usually I only really reserve the square, which is a one by one, I guess. And that would normally be a 1080 by 1080. Just a pure little square that is your post and probably a video that you put on Twitter. That I generally actually make a thumbnail. I prefer to, if you're going to put something in your timeline, use the 1080 by 135 euro, which is the 4, four by 5 
um, I tend to shoot in the 9x16 which allows me to then kind of cut the video down and make a 4x5 so I would you need to kind of think about this though and know that when you create these vertical videos that you focus everything in the square then you're able to use the rest of the frame to then kind of create perspective um, so that you can reuse this as much as possible I don't really like to film stuff in kind of landscape mode I suppose what we've been talking about is portrait mode because I quite often go vertical and portrait they're one and the same thing give or take but yeah in landscape mode which is horizontal it's cropping in on it I find it to not be the best way to do things um, so I like trying this new format I feel that there's a real opportunity to film in in this way I feel that almost daily vlogging would better be served in IGTV I like making these short little one minute movies I certainly like telling stories in 15 seconds and I'm actually hoping to fill up my feed with a whole bunch of short little videos rather than a whole bunch of still images I think that these short little videos just give so much more depth and so much more excitement and will hold people's attention more and so yeah I'm definitely I'm gonna do that I doubt I'll put a photo up again that's my new route I was quite self-critical recently and I have been saying this for a while that I, I really kind of suck at making videos lately but then what I realized is it's not that I suck I have a lot of talent and uh, I don't need to bang my chest to prove that I'm just rusty so if I was a fighter I would have ring rust I, if I was a cowboy maybe if I had fallen off the horse then I've got to get back on the horse or something like that but yeah I definitely feel that I'm just a bit rusty at making YouTube videos I don't know how to use my equipment properly I've not figured out exactly what I want to say before I get in in front of the camera no matter how many notes I write and while I actually like the authenticity of somebody kind of being quite transparent with people eh, I realize it's probably a bit of annoying for some people but I watch so many YouTube videos and there's so many ways to tell a story and sometimes you're just a good storyteller in the way that you put it together sometimes you're really just a great editor and then you tell a great story through the way that you edit a video I do like to think that I'm somebody who's more of a creative so while I enjoy talking clearly I would say that I would prefer to make really great b-roll and find interesting ways to present to you I doubt I'll, I will especially with a big camera like this will I ever be walking around like that it's probably not likely but I, I couldn't do it with a with my uh, iPhone I doubt I'm gonna be able to to hold that big thing and and feel comfortable but I'll find the way but it takes practice and I'm just going to keep like doing it and getting more comfortable again and that's how I started I was terribly uncomfortable if you've watched my earlier vlogs then you would see like how incredible I could hardly get like a word out that's how bad I was but now like I feel like I'm definitely better and it's definitely I've gained my confidence in front of the camera now it's just a case of practicing a bit finding new ways to present stuff and tell great stories and that's the key thing I think if you don't have a great story to tell then you probably doesn't matter what you do with the camera it's still just not going to be as great so I'm just going to keep practicing I hope uh, you can appreciate that this is kind of maybe me taking a step back in order to take 
a few steps forward. So I hope you can appreciate that. Anyway, guys, I hope that I've managed to get this right using this Canon EOS R. Please give me your feedback. Apparently the color is amazing on this thing, but this is still something I've got to figure out and learn, and I've got to figure out how to get back all soft and smooth, and I don't know what, I'm, what I've done wrong, or if I've done it right, who knows. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool. Oh, 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 o